Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the Alan Parsons Project, the Complete Albums Collection. This is a brand new vinyl box set that came out a couple of weeks ago. It's an 11 LP box set. And this is effectively the vinyl version of the 2014 CD box set which Sony released, but the vinyl box set's not being released by Sony. This is licensed to Cooking Vinyl have put this package together. So we've got 11 vinyl records. They're all half speed mastered and they come in this pretty heavy box set, as you might imagine. This is very consistent with the CD box. So if I, if I put this down for a second, Remind you, that's what the CD box looked like. So that came out in 2014. So it's the 10 original studio albums, plus what was at the time the unreleased album, The Sicilian Defense. So this was like a clamshell box, small booklet, and 11 CDs. Obviously this vinyl box is, uh, is a lot more expensive and it's a lot bigger and heavier. It comes in this cigarette style outer box here so that doesn't actually lift off completely it just folds back which i think is quite good actually i've got a few boxes where this bit lifts off so every time you pick up the box it comes away in your hand so, so that's interesting anyway that the, the way that they've chosen to package it and then inside here what we've got is we've got all the records there's a book and a poster so we're going to open this up and take a look the front is spot varnished just like the uh just like the CD box, actually, this triangle here is uh, spot varnished, so it's very nicely presented. So we're going to take the poster out. So this is an A1 poster. So it's very much taking the style of the box out. So it's not like it's uh, some kind of vintage poster they've recreated. You can see there the complete albums collection. The usual problem with posters, they're all folded, so there's not much you can do about that. And then this comes, one of the significant appeals of this box set is this book. So we'll have a look at this at the end. But first of all, we're going to go through all the vinyl records. Here we go then. So one by one, starting with the first record, 1976, is Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe gatefold very nicely presented because this has the booklet inside with this kind of thick transparent uh, leaf here and then it's pretty lavish in terms of the sort of recreating the original there's another sheet here at the back all these vinyl records have got printed in the sleeves 180 gram black vinyl there's loads of gatefolds as well, because it's the 70s, you know. So that's uh, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. Next up, I, Robot. This, of course, is the original cover. It was actually rejigged for the 2013 deluxe reissue, but they've gone back to the original, for, as they did actually with the CD box in 2014. Another gatefold, lyrics credits and track listing on the inside this uh, actually opens up like that and again a printed in a and black vinyl just to show you the labels they're very productive in the 1970s uh, the Alan Parsons project it was basically an album a year for quite a long time so the next record is Pyramids. This was from 78. Again, another gatefold. And another printed in a sleeve. So Eve is from 1979. Uh, yet another gatefold presentation. 1979 was the year that they recorded the Sicilian Defence as well. This record has a bit of a glossy feel to it. Again, it opens up there. There's the sort of full image. It's one of the good things about Gatefold Records. You can actually have a widescreen image. The Turn of a Friendly Card. This was from 1980. I uh, really like this album cover, actually. This is a concept by Lol Cream and Kevin Godley. 
this is the first record that isn't a gatefold actually so it's just single sleeve another printed inner and there's the black vinyl 1982's Eye in the Sky bit of luxury on this one you've got some foil blocking here in the front Again, this isn't a gatefold either, so we're into the 80s, so gatefolds, well, they were still, I wouldn't say they weren't popular, but probably less prevalent than they were in the 70s. Printed in our lyrics, credits. So these are all half-speed mastered, these, uh, these albums. And there's quite a lot of detail in the book about the sources, where they're taken from, the effort that they went to to try and get the very possible tapes, original tape sources. Ammonia Avenues from 1984. Again, another single sleeve vinyl record. Printed in a black vinyl. Vulture Culture from 1985. Kind of quite an 80s sort of cover really, isn't it? Another printed in a sleeve here. Lyrics on one side. That lyrics on both sides of the uh, printed dinner. And this is Stereotomy from 1985 as well, actually. Two albums in 85. Confusing typography and sleeve design. It's not that easy to read, actually, the blue on the um, sort of purple colour. Another printed dinner, and there's the black vinyl. And then Gaudi from 1987. There's the black vinyl record. So the Sicilian Defence, as I said earlier, this was recorded in 79. Uh, it's the first time this has been released on vinyl because when it came out on CD in 2014, it was completely unreleased. So this is the first time it's been out on vinyl. It details the, the making of this record in the book, but I think it was effectively a contractual obligation type of an album. It never came out, but um, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty obscure and, you know, uncommercial, arguably. I mean, especially the titles of the tracks. They're all sort of chess moves. Even so, it makes sense for it to uh, finally be released on vinyl. wonder if this will ever come out as a standalone record. I'll have to wait and see. So the book uh, is great in here, actually. It's a step up from the CD book because the CD book it just had credits and information about each album yeah if you look at the cd book here it just had um track information and a few pictures and that was it but this new book in the vinyl set is uh there's a lot of detail there's new notes so it goes through here i'll just put this down here but it goes through album by album after the initial introduction go through album by album lyrics new notes about each record so this is kind of what you want. I mean, they should have done this with the CD box, really. But this is a great companion, obviously, to the to the music. So if you're not familiar with every single record, you can. Uh, this is like your guide to the albums. As I said earlier, at the back here, there's some quite good information about the Sicilian defence. There you go, so it tells you sort of how it came about, etc. And then Miles Schall, who did all the half speed mastering, gives you quite a lot of useful information here about the uh, tape sources that were used and the efforts he went to to secure the very best quality transfers. So really well done, actually. Um, excellent book to go with the vinyl records. This kind of opening in the box is actually makes it quite easy to sort of get the record out that you want to and they fit in very easily as well none of this sometimes you have vinyl boxes and it's a bit of a squeeze trying to get them in and out but um it's quite good this because they kind of face forward as you i mean it's really like you might store vinyl records just in normal boxes so these will go back in 
And even with the book and the poster, you're not ramming it in. There's plenty of space in here, which is what you want. So there's the last one there. That's the Sicilian defense. And then the book slots in. Poster here. And there we go. Now, of course, this isn't cheap. We've got 11 vinyl records in here in the book, the poster. Uh, it's about £300 if you want to buy it from the official Alan Parsons shop. And you do get the bonus of a signed print. I believe they're still available. If you want to buy it from other retailers, it is actually now available. But you'll end up paying a little bit more. I think it's about 340 on Amazon. The one thing that's quite good about this is it is a proper limited edition. They've just made 1,500 cooking vinyl. So when they sell out, that's probably it, I imagine. So yeah, nicely done. This is the Alan Parsons Project, the complete albums collection. If you've enjoyed this unboxing video, why don't you subscribe to the Super Deluxe Edition YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.